As a developer, at least once you have gone through the pain of requesting your organization's IT admins or DBAs access to cloud databases. I know this sounds so frustrating, but we finally have a solution for you. Hi guys, my name is Karan Singh, Senior Principal Architect and Developer Evangelist at Red Hat. And in this episode of Definition Shorts, I will explain to you how easy it is to get full control of your cloud database instances that you use for your applications running on OpenShift using Red Hat OpenShift Database Access. Let's get started. Red Hat OpenShift Database Access or RODA in short is a new revolutionary database access model for OpenShift. RODA makes it that simple to connect, provision and monitor developer access to third-party cloud database services by our cloud database partners that too across multi-cloud environments. RODA increases developer productivity by enabling self-service access to cloud database instances, configurations, and point-to-click applications and database connectivity. At the same time, RODA enables operations and DBA teams to enforce governance and control and easy maintenance. Red Hat OpenShift Database Access is a cloud service that is delivered as an extension on OpenShift Dedicated and OpenShift Service on AWS. Currently, it supports four cloud database providers, MongoDB Atlas, Crunchy Bridge by Crunchy Data, CockroachDB from Cockroach Labs, and Amazon RDS. Red Hat's focus is to enable seamless access of these database services on OpenShift for developers and ops teams. Let us now see Roda in action. For this demo, we will be using Red Hat OpenShift service on AWS that you can launch from console.reddit.com slash OpenShift and clicking on the Create Cluster button. Once your Rosa cluster is created, you can install Red Hat OpenShift Database Access add-on from the add-on section. The installation of Roda will take a few minutes. Once the add-on installation is completed successfully, a green install check mark appears on the tile as shown in here. Next, log into OpenShift Web Console. In ad Administrative View, and under data services, you will find database access. First of all, we will import an existing database provider account by clicking on import database provider account. Here we'll choose database provider as MongoDB for this demonstration purpose. And we are required to provide all this information from MongoDB Atlas website. So for this, you need to log into your MongoDB Atlas account and under organization settings, you'll find the organization ID and under access manager API key, you will able to find the API key, private key and secret key. You can create a new API key if you don't already have. So let's fill in this detail into database access. and provide this provider account as a friendly name. So definition DB and click import. All right, so the database has been successfully imported. Let's click on database access and it should fetch the latest information from the MongoDB service provider, which is MongoDB Atlas. All right, so Cluster 0 has been successfully imported from MongoDB Atlas console. At this point, MongoDB Atlas cluster has been successfully added as Roda provider account. As an administrator, you now have enabled your developers to perform self-service database instances and access them from within their applications. That's all in this episode of Definition Shorts. In the next episode, we will learn how to use Roda provider account within an application. Until then, if you have any questions or feedback about this or any other episode of Definition Shots, do reach out to me via email or Twitter. See you in the next video.